YouTube. In this video, I'm going to answer a couple of questions, maybe here. But before I do that, I'd like to express that if you're looking for answers in advance, you you have come to the right place. But I have to understand the question. Uh, from uh, if you can read this question here and rephrase for me uh then i can answer it but right now i cannot understand it go ahead pause the video read read that question and uh see if you can make sense of it and uh kudos to tiago here he made his first uh uh model in advance too and uh moving on here uh here's the question i'm going to answer I, dear John, I have a big problem. I'm new to advanced steel and I started a project with <clears throat> problems when I do numbering, it always increases marks, increases part marks. I expect them to start from one always. Uh, okay, so now, uh, hold on here. I'm going to make uh, a brief model here. So that we can number it and uh, take a look at how I do the numbering to achieve some of uh, the requests there. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I gotta do that again. One beam was not straight. Okay. Now let's try that again. Okay, so now we have two beams, which are the main parts, and we have clip angles, or is it the shear plate? The clip, clip angles that will act as our single part. How do we number this? Okay, first of all, you go onto the output tab, hit the numbering, and processing single parts. I like the single parts to start from a thousand. And I like the main parts to start from one. So just have that box checked off. And here select the first option there. 1000, 1001, 1002. Okay. And then uh, down here as well, you select uh, not the first one, but the second uh, option there. So now all my main parts will increase by one. All my single parts will, will start at 1000, increasing by one as well. Then you click apply. Okay. Okay, now let's take a look at what we have. So the single part, uh, that one will be M1000. So you see they all start 1000. That's why I said my single part. So if I had the second one, it would go 1001, but this is the same, so I don't think that will. No, if it was a different part, it would go 1001 here. So it would be like this. It will be like that, okay. And then the main part, as you can see, this is B1, and the next one will go B2, B3, B4, B5, and so on and so forth. But uh, another thing that I should have mentioned in here is that. Uh, In the special tabs here, you want to make sure that's checked. We use a new mark. This way, you don't have gaps in your numbering. Okay, now I might stop this video here and pick up another one to answer this next question. If I do, I'll say the greeting again. YouTube. 